And welcome back, sports fans, to another round of the Black Crag Invitational. We have round two with the Thundergun Thumpers up against the Golden Hind. We are here with Friday Night Blitzball. Blitzball! I'm your host, Scratch, and this is my co-host, Sniff. Let's have a look at the team, Sniff. Well, we've got the Thundergun Thumpers tonight. The Ogre team with their Noblar subordinates. We've got two major Ogre blockers up there. Yeah. If they hit you, you'll recognise it. Puff as nails and twice as pointy. Twice as pointy. The Noblars, more on the sneaky side, able to get in amongst the legs of their opponents. They can dodge and weave a tackle like a greased up salmon. They certainly can. Greased up salmon. I love it. Titchy. Now... Not much in the armor save re region, but here we come the Golden Hinds now. We've got the Chaos Blockers, uh, two of those guys. They're very hard to take down, uh, Sniff. Now, these are the team that I call the m m mid Golden Hinds. Them. There's nothing much there in way of movement. There's not a lot there in the throwing. There's not a lot there in the armor save. They are middle of the road. They are middle of the road. The abilities being able to stay on their feet for the blockers and the beastman runners able to get a free block if they run fast enough and get their mark at the same time. Here comes the coin toss. Let's see how it lands. And it looks like the Thundergut Thumpers are going to take the first round here. And as you would expect, getting those big ogres out of the blocks early in the middle of the pack. Front and centre as you would want them to be. Now the interesting thing about this game is that most teams would find the uh, abilities of a Chaos team quite intimidating. Not being able to knock them down and getting those long bomb tackles from the Beastmen runners might be a little bit scary for another team to face. Any team except the Thundergut Thumpers. When you're up against Ogres, you're the only one doing the intimidating in Blitzball. Those ogres are so cool, you could put a tarantula down their pants and they wouldn't even flinch. They wouldn't even notice, probably. They'd probably had three for breakfast. Here comes the ball from the trap We door. are ready. We are kicked off. Here goes the first ogres. They are heading straight up towards that ball. Not quite enough guff to get there on the first play. They're huffing and puffing and they are almost there. This is not like the sticks and stones from last week where we saw instant ball collections straight from the end zone. Now we have a little bit more of a technical play needed, setting themselves up for turn two. Now here come the Chaos Blockers as you would expect. Now Chaos Blockers again you cannot take them down with a regular tackle or a regular push. You have to get through their armour and send them to the injury bin. But the Thundergut Thumpers getting through their ar armor and causing injuries is exactly what they're planning to do this whole game. We'll see how it pans out. Well, when you have an exciting team like the Thundergut Thumpers where you've got the big, brutish ogres and then you've got the, the little... Slippery salmon, as you call them. The slippery salmon noblars. That's quite exciting. But the Golden Hinds, they're just... They're, they're all around solid team. You haven't got any superstars there. But they, they're going to do some damage. They're going to do some damage across the board, whereas definitely the Thundergun Thumpers are relying on these ogres. That Noblar just running up there, grabbing the ball, and immediately turning back, taking a look at the Chaos team in front of him, and deciding on a big old nope, getting behind now, his Scratch, big blockers. You and I have seen enough Blitzball to know that going up the sides isn't always the best of options. It doesn't always wind out. It can be an easy block for the opposing team. It certainly can be, but it looks like the Thundergun Thumpers were going for their get moving card. Getting all of their players to run in a single turn will earn them a point. But as you just said, the Golden Hinds have seen this on the flanks and they are blocking Easily immediately. Block them up. And look, it is a good tactic, as we've said before. It's all about points on the board and the Thundergun Thumpers picked up the first point of the game. They certainly have. And it looks like the Chaos team has picked up a point for exactly the same thing. Three players all doing a run and tying up. They're, they're covering each other completely here um, in points and on the board. They are spread out and then looks someone's going to have to make a move to break through this line. And of course, here comes one of the Thundergun Thumper Ogres looking to take out not one of the Chaos Beastmen. He's going straight for the blocker. Even though the blocker has more defense, he's going to try and knock him down. And he's going to have a good chance, I would say. Look at the size of that ogre. Look at the intention on his face. The sidestep on an ogre, not great. He wants to go straight forward, straight over the top of that guy. He's not a ballet of subtlety on the ogre team here. And it looks like that Chaos player is in trouble. He's going to have to rely on his armor here, which, of course, 
The ogres really do dent through that armor. And as we know, the Golden Hind's armor is m m mid. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> takes to a lot to impress here. our sniff. And there he goes, the Chaos Blocker, almost having his head taken off by the first knockdown of the game. Back into the injury bin. Thundergut the Thumpers have taken a point for they it. Pick up another point. And as we know, it's a game of points. Not all about the flashy touchdowns. We love them when they happen, but it's a game of points and strategy. It sure is, Sniff. And here come the Chaos team working together now, looking to get a block and maybe take this ogre and send him to the sin bin himself. Sin bin. Injury bin. Any bin they can send him to, except Whatever on the pitch. Bin you like. Yeah. The yeah. rubbish bin. The <laughs> rubbish bin, preferably. Now, the Chaos team have gotten themselves a knockdown here. Pretty good armor on the Ogres, though. They have a tough hide. They are tough nuts to crack. And it looks like that Ogre may be going down on the pitch, but injured, he ain't. He is not. These Ogres are so big, they look. They make Arnold Schwarzenegger look like Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> that is saying that is saying indeed something. Now, what is the Chaos team going to do with this opportunity of an Ogre? They've taken taken him down, not injured him, managed to get themselves a point for him. They are shadowing the Thunderguard Thumpers in points. Here comes the Golden Hind Beastman Runner. He's going to mark that Nobler with the ball, at least stopping him from running any old direction that he wants to. See, the Noblars can get around other team members, other teams, when they are not marked by them. But being marked... Oh, they and can, we have a special play here. They from can the run through an area where they would normally be marked by, yeah. another, by the opposing player. Yes, but if they are marked at the start of the turn, they cannot do a run at all. But the Ogre team have pulled out an intercept card. Now, this Ogre has stepped forward to intercept this Beastman Goat, but... The Beastman has pulled out an inspiration, an extra play. He is going for this block. No matter what happens, the Beastman, of course, getting that free block, he may be able to take this Noblar out, and he's got a crunch tackle. The Noblars, with their pathetic armor save of their bed shirts, is not going to be able to defend himself, I don't think, from this Beastman player. He's going to be taken out. That ball is going to go loose. And with a favourable bounce, this could all be turned around. Another loose ball. Now it's bounced in favour of the Thunderguard Thumpers. That is not what the Golden Hinds wanted. That is not what the Golden Hinds and their famous Golden Shorts were looking for this turn. They will take the points that they can get for it. But they have used up all of their special plays, all of their moves that turn. It's turning over to Thunderguard Thumpers. And that ball is loose and it looks like the Thunderguard Thumpers are going to collect. But all of a sudden, without any touchdowns, we're already at 4-2 to two in favour of the m, m mid Golden Hines. It just goes to show this game is not all about touchdowns and so much happening on the pitch. Points. Also, not about exciting teams. Really laying into those Golden Hines there, Sniff. <laughs> and, I am uh, a fan of the Thundergun Thumpers. From way back. How are those kickbacks going for you, <laughs> Sniff, from the Thunderguard Thumpers? Definitely playing favourites up here in the commentating box. And looks like the Ogres have taken out another member of the Golden Hind. Obviously... Back to the bin. They are... Mid-strength is not good there. enough here. Not at all. Not when you're up against a big, bad Ogre. Now, the Nobler has the ball. The Ogre, he wants to give it away... To an ogre. Looks he's, like he's gonna go looking, for a throw. Looking for that. Make the pass. He's gonna make the pass and that doesn't look very good. That pass Still. landing between the two. Oh, it's gone for a bounce and it's bounced just behind them. That knobler bouncing the football straight off the head of that ogre who has not even raised his hands to collect. And it lands between them. Notoriously not great at catching balls, Ogres. <laughs> Reflexes, not fantastic. But that ball is pretty well defended. It is between the two Thundergaard Thumper t uh, teammates. And the Chaos team is going to have to try and wedge themselves in there if they're going to do anything about it. Are they going to do anything about it? We've got reserves coming out. No immediate play. And the Golden Hines so using two of their three moves to pull those players out of the bin. And we've got a mark coming from the Chaos Blocker. 
Doesn't look like there's an extra play going to be made here. A very, very safe turn from the Golden Hinds. They have turned over, no points this turn. A simple mark and bringing some players out of reserve. They are playing a long game here. Not looking to be caught out once the Thundergut Thumpers have the ball again. And here it goes, that Nobler running straight past the Chaos midfield. Taking possession of the ball, getting themselves a point. As we said, they can oh, run the really close to the opposing defending players. Um, it's one of their special skills. They're so small, they can't get a good swipe on him. The opposing no. players, they cannot Straight grab between them. the legs, you Those would think. Those slippery salmon. And here we go again. Now, the, the Thundergun Thumpers, 3-4. The Nobla has the ball. The Ogre is up there in support. What is going to happen here? Now, the Nobla, it's, you would think... Up against the Chaos team here, the Noblar is going to Taking be trying to get rid of this ball. A bit of time to strategize. We really want to see what's going on. Ah, see, what's happened is the Noblar is trying to explain to the Ogre to just take the ball out of his hand instead of trying to make a throw this time. He's learnt from his initial mistake, this time opening up the palms of the Ogre and then closing them back on the ball for and the Ogre. What do you think of the strategy, Scratch, of handing off the ball to the much larger Ogre? They've got similar movement abilities, mm. but obviously the Ogre has a lot more staying armor power. and yep. staying power. I definitely would not want to be a Nobler at that end of the field. With Chaos Team pointed at me, I would do a Hospital Pass as well. Now, fortunately for the Ogres, Hospital passes don't really exist now. He's been hit. He's been taken down by a basement player, but as you can see, not sent off the pitch this really hard. This is the hard. second time that injure. an ogre's been taken down with the possession of the ball. So you're thinking maybe keeping it in possession of the Noblars might actually be the strategy to go with here. Sniff. Well, we'll see how it plays out, but they had the possession of the ball and they didn't make the most of it there, I feel. The Golden Irons here, taking another block attempt. They've had some success, this time a just shove. a shove. We're not able to clear these ogres off the field, which is what they really need to do. Another turn passes, Golden Hines unable to get another score on the board. Now, Golden Hines, one thing that they've done well is they've got a lot of attackers up the field, but still got a, a good range of defense where I feel the Thundergun Thumpers have spread themselves out a lot more across the, the board. Yeah. Um, we've got some that are in the bin, some that are minding the line. Yeah. And you've got just two ogres and, and one of the um, Noblars yeah. out in the field. Out really causing some concern for the Chaos team. Now, we've had that Nobler do a run. He has not quite got the energy to get him across the line. The ogre has stood up. Another ogre moving up in support. Really setting themselves up and putting themselves well and truly on the Chaos team's lines They here. are in range, but what are the Golden Pines? They've got everything to play for here, and they can easily stop this if they try hard enough. And they're going to try, and they're going to try and take out this Nobla with the ball. It looks like a successful tackle. Nobla's not renowned for uh, surviving any sort of real contact, but... Um, no, it's just a shove. He still keeps Uncharacteristic of the ball. Of the Noblars here, keeping possession of the ball. The Golden Hind team following up. Is that going to be enough to stop a touchdown, a potential touchdown that this turn? That Golden Hind blocker is certainly going to get some grief in the dressing room later 100%. on. 100%. For not being able to take down that Nobler. The Chaos Gods would not be happy with that one, I can tell you, for nothing. Beastman player here. Looks like he's going to try and take down the Ogre. Really working at hacking away at this Ogre team and getting them off the field. But once again, failing. Down the Ogre goes This again. is the same Ogre three times now and has never been sent off the pitch. Down and up. Down and up. It's going to take more than that from the Golden Iron team to get possession. And this... It, get dominance on. Here goes the Noblar and it looks and like we've got a touch Touchdown! Thundergun Thumpers finally happened. Now it, we said that Golden Hines needed to take that one uh, Nobler out with the ball in their turn, and they, they failed to do they so. They failed to do it, and it materialized. The touchdown materialized immediately, costing the, thun the Golden Hines the lead. Thundergun Thumpers now 7 to 4, getting a showboat for the crowd. Nobler's not shy from expressing themselves once they've actually made it to the touchdown. 
and they've managed to pull the score back seven to four. Absolutely. Gold Pines are going to have to pull something out quick. We've got the Ogres up looking for another tackle. They're just rubbing salt into the wound at this point. Touchdowns, a strong defensive line with the Noblars, and now the Ogre is looking to send another of the Golden Hinds off the field altogether. And it looks like he is going to do just that. He went straight through him like a hot curry. <laughs> he sure did, Sniff. And we've got the Golden Hinds. And I, look, if I was the captain of the Golden Hinds, I would be wondering what to do next. It doesn't look like their plans have worked out great so far. And we've got another bounce that has ended up right next to an ogre. You've got to be frustrated with that if you're a Golden Hinds player. And the Golden Hinds have barely even got into the Thundergut Thumpers territory. No. They've played the whole game in their own half. They have not managed to get through the line yet. They've barely had possession of the ball. You can see the Chaos Blocker has gone for the mark there. Even though they would not be able to pick up the ball that close to the ogre, they have marked the ogre. The other two Chaos players have gotten two other marks, which means they'll get points for tying up the other team. But that ball is still in the open. The Golden Hines have been playing a very conservative and defensive game, Ooh. which, you know, it, it might not make for exciting blitz bowl, but it's definitely a, a tactic it, in the score. It's definitely working for them in the score, being that they have not got a single touchdown. They're still clinging on to just one point behind the Thundergut Thumpers here. Thundergut Thumpers looking to knock some more. Chaos players off the field, and of course they, they do it easily. Do it. Oh, they're going for another one. They are looking to clear this board of Chaos players, setting I themselves up. I feel up. like the Thumpers, they keep um, attacking and they keep clearing these these uh, players off the board, but they're not taking advantage of it. No. They're not managing to, to spur that into success, into touchdowns, into points. The amount of Chaos players that have been in the injury bin, you'd think that lead would be a lot bigger than it actually is. Something about this Chaos team is keeping them clinging on as they get smashed consistently back into the injury bin. Now, we have got... That ball still seems to be open in the middle field. No score there by the Thunderguard Thumpers. That would leave it as the Golden Lions turn and look at that possession in the middle, middle of the field. How are you going to get that ball? Chaos Block is going to have a swing at it. Yeah, but I do not big see... Ogres watching over that ball. Mm. There's no way without taking one of those Ogres out that they can get possession of that ball. And it doesn't look very favourable for the Chaos team. A missed tackle... We are going to see some reserves come out now just for a defense because it doesn't look like there's any points to be scored here by the Golden Hind. And that, you would think, is going to cost them when it comes to the clock. Another turn, no more points made by the Golden Hind. Great strategies by both teams, but it's a very low scoring game so far. Not quite like the, the game that we saw last week where it was... It was, there was lots of touchdowns. Lots of touchdowns very early in the game. This is quite the opposite. Both teams looking to use certain strategies. So, and we have a pitch invasion. Did you see that, Sniff? I thought I saw something there. We're going to have to keep an eye on the pitch itself. But here come the Thundergut Thumpers looking to make a play here. They are in possession of the ball. No, we what definitely have that? a pitch invasion. It looks like some sort of furry demon been summoned by the Chaos team to sow some sort of some mayhem. Some kind of Chaos Sphinx. Sphinx of Mayhem looking to play havoc with those challenge cards and possibly even the scoreboard. The trying to look, Thumpers. Trying to look cute. Trying to pretend like it's not about to destroy all of humanity and everyone else. But the Thunderguard Thumpers don't seem to be too distracted, focusing on their moves, moving close to the line. That Noblar is handed off, I think, once again to the Ogre. Now, I'm not sure of this strategy, uh, Scratch. You, you've we've said seen before. This, we've seen this twice already, and it has not been successful, so I'm not sure why we would keep handing off to that Ogre, using a precious move when we could get another player up there to help. We could get something uh, something else going. We've done it three times now, I think and you it's might be still... Right not working and here comes the defense of the chaos team they've both done a mark they're going for the block they're using up all their moves to take this ogre out 
And of course, Once the ogre goes down. Again. It is as if nobody wants to get out there with a stretcher and take this ogre off the field. They just refuse to do it. And how could you blame him? This ogre is staying right where he is on the field, but he and has lost possession of the ball. And it's as just as you said. Favourable bounce for the Golden Hinds. It is. The Chaos Blocker seems to have it right where he... Well, not the Chaos Blocker. It looks like both the Beastmen are out there. Chaos team... Oh. Oh, they've got a There's move. The, they've got an inspiration. They've got an extra move here. The hand of that. The hand of that. Chaos Sphinx. Demon, Demon oh. Sphinx is oh. stealing the points counters of the Thundergut Thumpers. And it looks like the distraction has worked. That Beastman player has taken possession of the ball and run up the midfield while the Thundergut Thunders captain was busy trying to steal the scorecard back from that Demon of Chaos. This it only happens on Friday Night Blitz Bowl, Sniff. This Chaos can only be seen Sphinx here. Is coming from nowhere, being summoned from Hades mm. to try and steal game pieces in order to trick the captains of the Thundergut Thumpers. And it seems to have worked. We have got the Golden Hinds taking points here for possession of the ball, running out the field, and they're going to get three the points. Chaos no, no they're going to get... They don't get their three points. The Chaos Sphinx strikes... The Thundergut Thumpers. Wait, we have to go back and check this out. Have you seen Have you seen what I'm seeing, Sniff? If we... Look, what has happened here? We see the Golden Hind team have taken the three points that they have earned for that round. And as soon as they let go of the score piece, in comes the Chaos Demon that they the themselves summoned. The Chaos Demon. Demon. But watch the Thundergut Thumper captain here. They put the score back an, an entire oh. point. Trying to rob them of a point. The team captain of the Golden Hind... Cluey enough to see it happen and put it back to 9-7. Now that's the problem with summoning a Chaos Demon from Hell, is that sometimes they will try and work against you. They so mayhem, they don't care which side it is for. The Ogres, not happy with the amount of Chaos being sown, have taken it out on the closest Beastman, sending him also to the injury bin. And we have a game on our hands once again. All of these distractions, and we're still... Trying to focus on the game at hand. Now, there's still only one touchdown in this whole game. One touchdown in the whole game, and yet we have a scoreboard that reads 9-8. to eight. So there is a lot happening here, just not getting to the end zone. Thundergut Thumpers tidying up their lines, getting that point for standing on the trapdoor itself. We're setting up their ogres. It looks like the end of their turn. They're going to turn over to the Golden Hinds, who are in possession now. This golden hand kind beastman on this flank is going to try and take out that nobbler, maybe setting up for a pass later on. Try and get some support down the end. He has failed. He has missed that slippery little things. These nobblers, they've missed entirely. What are they going to do instead? They're going to have to set up some other form of getting to. This might be the first time I think in this game, Sniff, that the chaos team has been in the Thundergut Thumpers end zone. They are Even swiftly close. moving towards the end zone, but they're not going to make it. They're not going to have enough steam this turn. But it also appears that the Thumpers don't have enough moves to really set up a good strategic defense line here to stop them from getting into that end zone. Well, the Noblars are set up in the end zone itself, which is blocking that Beastman player from making a touchdown. You have to make a touchdown free and clear from any marked squares. The that Beastman has to do a wide get run. The is in those last two squares down the right wing. Unless, of course, when the Thundergut Thumpers turn, they manage to cover that hole, which is going to make all sorts of headaches for the Golden Hind. Now, they have not made any points that turn, and it looks like Thundergun Thumpers are going to get a free reserve, and they're going to do exactly that. They have locked up that corner they as are well. They blocking the only available touchdown Breaking space. the cold black hearts of the Chaos team, who thought they were about to get their first touchdown of the game. But no, the Noblars are coming out of the end zone. They didn't have to do that. They are coming out, and they're going for the tackle as well. Ill-advised strategy. We should have just stayed and hold. Hold the hold line. The line hold the line. And deny those beastmen their score. But they have managed to get themselves a tackle here. But the beastman player he is actually safe from being sent to the injury bin. Now, he's going to lose possession of the ball. That ball is going to bounce, and it's going to bounce. Looks pretty favorable. It does look pretty favorable to the, the Thunder Thumpers. Gut thumpers. But that is the end of all of their moves. Unless they've got another trick up their sleeve, they've spent it all. The Thumpers will not get another turn 
here we go. We've got, we've actually gotten themselves, by the looks of it, a point for that play for taking down. That will be for taking down that Beastman runner. And and look at this, Sniff. We are already at the end, the end play of the game. We're in the end game. There are no more cards to be pulled, which means each team only gets one more round each after this. Thundergut Thumper is going up to ten. That last play, the Thundergut Thumpers have just managed to scrape ahead ten points. To nine, we're in the very final throws of this game. It is Golden getting Hine. exciting. Golden Hind yet to score, but really there's only one point in it. What are they going to pull out here that is going to even things up? Now, oh, we've got oh, a streak out The Chaos Sphinx. The Chaos Sphinx has streaked across the fields, trying once more to sow a little bit more mayhem. Golden Hind's snatching, using the opportunity to Snatch see if an that extra score. Distraction. Make it all. See if that distraction can pull them ahead. Looks like they are taking a point for having uh, two points for having the tie them up card, tying up all of the Thundergut Thumpers or a lot of the Thundergut Thumper players. So we've taken the lead back from the Thundergut Thumpers. Beastman looking for a takedown on the Noblar in front of him, stopping that touchdown. And the Noblar oh, that cannot is make that save. That is very unfortunate. They're going to take another try at the save. Oh, they're going to get the same no. number. This is, is the last thing that they watch. needed. That is harder to watch than the 1995 movie The Basketball Diaries with Leonardo DiCaprio scratch. And that is one of the hardest things to watch. I feel you. I feel for that poor Nobla. Kind of a hoof-shaped dent in his head. Down he goes, getting themselves He's another point for the injury. Another two points for the injury. For the field goal. Yeah, he's been that's kicked. the extra two points because so he's extra. gone over the uprights himself. <laughs> that, that's it. The Beastman players here have now set themselves up. They he can get a run from the other the player. He's basically touchdown! touchdown! Getting themselves another three points. And I think you'll find there is a showboat for the crowd. This Beastman doing a dance, doing the some sort of... Mid, mid Golden Hines with a clean sweep A there. clean sweep, Not which of course the gets touchdown. them another two points. The touchdown and all the bonus points available on the board. That is amazing this play. This team has scored themselves 10 points in the dying play of the game. That was their last play, and they have rocketed ahead, almost ending the game in a mercy verdict. If they were 10 points ahead, this game would be shut down immediately. Now, of course, the Thundergut Thumpers get one more turn as well here, but there, there are no cards that they can do. to there's, be earned. There's no points to be earned on the table. They can't get to the end zone from where they are, and the players they have available, this is it. It is over and done with. The Golden Hind coming from nowhere. Not only coming from nowhere, but coming from no touchdowns in the last play of the game. Nine points ahead. Thunderguard Thumpers scratching their heads, wondering it what just happened. It just goes to show, Scratch, you don't need to be exceptional to pull off exceptional results. That's exactly right. The teamwork is what makes the dream work. And the dream work has worked here for the Golden Hinds. Winners, winners of round two this round. They will go on to face the winners from last round. Think Sticks and Stones. And we will see you in round three of Friday Night Blitzball! Blitzball!